Ever wondered what a fourth generation computer is? Or how we arrived at this level of sophisticated computing technology? Well, sit back and relax, as the journey is quite fascinating. Our story begins in the 1940s, a time when the first generation of computers came into existence. These machines, huge and cumbersome, were driven by vacuum tubes and magnetic drums. They were not only expensive, but also consumed a lot of power and generated a lot of heat. Fast forward to the 1950s, we see the dawn of the second generation of computers. Transistors replaced vacuum tubes, making these computers smaller, faster, cheaper, and less energy consuming. They used magnetic cores for memory and assembly language for programming. As we move into the 1960s, the third generation computers appear on the scene. Integrated circuits or ICs replaced transistors. These ICs were small chips that could hold numerous transistors, resistors, and capacitors. This generation introduced us to the concept of operating systems, which allowed more than one task to run at a time. Now, let's turn the page to the 1970s, where the fourth generation of computers was born. The fourth generation computers use microprocessors that contain thousands of integrated circuits. These computers are the ones we're most familiar with today. They are small, portable and affordable, with high-speed performance and expansive memory capacity. But what makes the fourth generation computers truly stand out? For starters, they use a microprocessor, which is essentially an entire CPU on a single chip. This makes them incredibly powerful, yet compact. They also use a high-level programming language, which makes them user-friendly and easy to operate. The fourth generation computers also introduced us to the concept of personal computing. For the first time in history, computers became accessible to the general public, not just large corporations or government entities. This unlocked a world of possibilities, from entertainment and communication to research and education. Moreover, the fourth generation computers dramatically increased storage capacities. This allows for the storage and retrieval of large amounts of data, making them invaluable tools in today's data-driven world. In conclusion, the fourth generation computers have revolutionized the way we live and work. They are the result of decades of technological evolution, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. And as we look towards the future, it's exciting to imagine what the next generation of computers might bring.